And by the way, Anish, you contributed today to India beating US. How you know? Yeah, Prag. Mm. Oh, he knows it. My course, my course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I use his course only. <laughs> I I got a chess table. I downloaded Anish Giri course. <laughs> for free. Because I'm a space. I'd like to thank the government for sponsoring my chess course. <laughs> So, H4 is not the way. Wesley doesn't know my course. It's really embarrassing. But Bishop E6, your recommendation? Yeah, A5. The, the whole, this, this whole... Uh, actually, it's not my recommendation. So, my recommendation is this through another move order. Mm -hmm. And this Queen A5 that it transposes to this line. I figured it out at some point on my own. And then I use it. So, it's a combination of my games and my course. But I played like this. Yeah, I think H4, H5 is not here, right? It's not really here. Oh, H6. Ah, Prague also played wrong. B5, he thought. He was out, out of his book yeah, after Yeah, probably H4. it's also in the course, H4. Too logical not to be in the course, but... Um, H6 is a nice one, by the way. But H6... So, you uh, know, H6, uh, B3, E5, H6. Mm -hmm. So, check B4 was interesting. And that is... Uh, so, black is not getting... CB3, E5, H6. But you can take here, huh? Yeah, okay. to Can we see game of Bukesh? Just some simple win. There's no need for this. Uh... <laughs> Please, you <laughs> wondered what happened, Fabi. What? No. The thing is, you know, Anish. No, let no, me no, let no, me no, explain no. to you from a point of view of noob. Okay. Mm -hmm. How a a person who looks at this game thinks, and then you can explain from super GM perspective. So first, it seems like okay, all normal. Pawn. This I understand. Then Harshit explained C4 should not be given, so knight should not come here. So yes, very nice, all good. But at this point, you start to feel that Fabi is taking over castle D4. And you are like, look, two breaks are needed, E5 and C5. He can't do both. Position looks bad. I, this is a suspicious position. I thought it was dubious. I saw it at this point, yeah. But then G5. And then H5. And all of a sudden, it feels like black is okay. Uh, okay, of course you have your own trumps, like you've got the bishop pair, a very important light square bishop. And um, of course, like, he's got the isolated d pawn and all this. And uh, knight on f5 is very nice. But I don't I don't think this is bad, so let's let's see how it continues. Ah, so knight c5 was better, because now queen d7 and queen d5 is there, yeah? Ah. Knight c5 was better, first shutting the queen away from the king's, king's side, or center, and then after queen d5 to play. Okay, I guess actually queen b2, he was not sure also. Yeah, okay, queen b2 is not easy. He didn't like that. Yeah, you have to, you don't know how to assess it, yeah. Yeah, rookie 4, rookie 7, yeah. Oh, but I saw this kind of position. Oh, is it so, so bad for, I don't know, bad for it at all. No, it, it was, it, it's like he fought back. And then this rook f7 maneuver with the idea of bishop f8 and rook g7. Yeah, black has a lot of potential, but his c8 bishop has to somehow get into the game. But maybe it will start working, yeah? From, so here? From very, oh. Because, okay, you know, you're playing a different uh, game, like, um, <laughs> This, you know, if you look at the pieces, it's not like chess, yeah, it's like probably some <laughs> Chaturanga kind of related game <laughs> where you go like f7, bishop of 8, you know, like it's some uh, some new game, I think, like the next level chess is playing. Because we are playing this e5, c5 is chess, yeah, <laughs> normal chess, yeah. but this is like a next level already. So Gukesh his chess. pieces can only move one or two squared. Yeah, because chess is just like next level stuff. See, no piece moves more than one or two squares. Yeah, it's definitely like the, now the queen crossed the river, definitely some weird uh, queen. <laughs> and also, you know, he repeats moves and then it gets winning, yeah? Like, everybody repeats moves and then it's draw, and Bukesh repeats moves and then it becomes winning. <laughs> yeah, he was supported by Raunak. Because Raunak was winning, Fabi saw and so thought draw is not enough. It's very nice now. Okay, but this is dreaming up, or just a pawn. Uh, I have to no, say, though, was a know, nice it's, uh, it's the first time that Bukesh has played BC. I was very surprised to find out that he has always played BC. Mm -hmm. And he used to play E5. Yeah, as well. Uh, so he played only always BC. So I think this was a big surprise for Fabi that he's won BC. Uh, because I also looked before tournament what is Bukesh playing. And I know that he only plays BC. It looks like it's strange. Everybody plays BC. And he only plays only BC. But of course, uh, it's until this tournament. And the same with Prague. He's never played GC before, only E5. But of course, these youngsters, they are very quick on their feet. They're adapting and uh, improving their opening repertoires. Actually, he played BC6 with me in a classical game, like two years back, two, three Mukesh. years back. Yeah. But and it was very similar. And C4, yeah, this actually very simple. Like everything was same until some point, I think. Maybe 9C3? Was it 
Um, so I had the same pawn sacrifice. Actually, I don't think but, I had played h3. But um, wasn't maybe it was via via without h3 this, and maybe uh, this position or not? Was it no, like it was not like. Um, this is also a way to get this. I think my knight was on b1 actually. Uh, you took here, yeah? Because I thought that he never took with b7. Maybe I missed. Okay, like he just he, because I was surprised back then that he took bc because he never mm. took bc. But yeah, so, maybe this one game I yeah, didn't yeah, know this with some yeah. order. Interesting. But Anish, uh, really unbelievable, yeah? To gain 100 elo points in three months from 26, 20 or something to 27, 30 now. Yeah, this is really uh, very impressive, especially today. Like it's already seven wins, right? Yeah, eight, eight. eight. This is eight. eight. Yeah, really. Uh, <laughs> yeah, very, very nice. Uh, I think it will be like a very memorable tournament. I guess it goes, it will go down in history as one of the uh, most epic tournaments because I don't think that uh, such performance just performances have too many. Very cool. But you know, today was the first time he played world top ten. Yeah, and so in my mind it was always like Gukesh is playing well, but he's not played the real top guys, you know, like in classical yeah, chess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then he does this, and it again makes me feel like maybe even if he faces the top players, he might still continue to roll. Yeah, although of course, uh, first of all, the players will get accustomed to him, and the top players they're adapting very quickly to newcomers. So I don't think it will be that easy, and especially when he will be playing with black pieces. I think sooner or later players will figure out his weaknesses and try to constrain him to an extent that he doesn't win all the games. But for example, you, ha you had Firuja who just, like, anyway managed, and it's hard to constrain him as well, so it's it's interesting. I didn't realize, like, Gukesh would, uh, would amass such a score. I, I thought that his play was still somewhat loose. Like, I saw the tournament, previous tournaments, it was very, very good of this game. It was very good, of course, but it, but in deal because there was many rapid and blitz games, he was making mistakes in some rapid blitz games, you know, he was losing to some 2600 rated players every now and then, so he didn't seem um, like someone who would dominate the uh, top players yet, but uh, yeah, in this tournament everything works for him. And I do winning for white, yeah, just, uh, it's even, okay, it's just easy win for 3-1. Yeah. Oh. And by the way, Anish, congratulations to you, because you've become world number 6 now. Really, yeah? Yeah. So, so great. <laughs> so your your uh, uh, tournament is going amazingly well. Yeah, we are we are trying, and I I think now we are we we might have we are ahead of states. I think. Yes, you. Uh, <coughs> they are on thirty. They are on twelve. Yeah, we are one, one point ahead. You are so on thirteen. Your game today. Uh, I managed to win. Can we look at it quickly? It's not a very good game. It's not like a cash game. <laughs> <laughs> you play. Today was not very good. Like I did something. Yeah, I was like here. Above, above, above. Yeah. Yeah, here. I made a blunder in the opening, like here, I shot, I think I probably should go bishop g5, maybe bishop e4, yeah, but I went bishop to c4, and I realized I missed knight b4, and I was just worse, I think. It's a very strong move, like and suddenly, knight I cannot take with the queen. Knight c2. So, yeah, I saw knight e7, at least that's a bit of an odd move, but knight b4 was very strong. Generally, I was not really expecting this whole thing, and uh, yeah, I was... Wait, what's going on? I think he was doing very well. I just swindled him. Like, I was worse here. Um, but the thing is, I'm never going to take this pawn, so I'm not going to free his pieces. Uh, I'm just going to play around this pawn, and at some point he lost patience a little bit. Mm. Um, yeah, already, yeah, here he went with a 5, which was actually interesting. And, yeah, I, I'm not, it was, uh, yeah, 95 was good. He was actually fine. I just freed him in time trouble. Before. It looks at three and now I went G4. Yeah, here I had one cheap oh, trick. Wow. If he takes it's quite it's, it's basically like one of those ah, bishop, psychic attack, you know? It's not a real attack, but like you're trying to like boop your opponent and your opponent's like oh, <laughs> you know, and you're just hoping he falls <laughs> off the chair or something. But if you don't, like knight of eight is very strong. But the main cheap was that if he takes rook a three, uh, you might think I go g5, but I go bishop, bishop c7. Ooh. This was uh, very cheap. So this was my only idea the entire game. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, he kinda of panicked a bit with the and here, actually, time trouble, he found the rook queen c6, but I have to queen d6, and uh, because there are some nice, if he meets, I think, nice queen um, maneuver, I go here, and then Where here, yes, Ooh. Ooh. Uh, and takes, so the queen kind of makes a circle, but he still found queen 6 in time trouble, but then I have to queen d6, and it's still not so easy for him to, um, to play, and uh, yeah, somewhere he went astray. This already winning. Like Dink's game against the Nakamura. Mm. Very similar. I win. Yeah, just like that. 
kind of was not was very bad opening, but then in time trouble I managed to do very it. practical with G4 was yeah. actually very good. In in our team, like I think Erwin this was an epic game, I'll show you like okay, G5 is crazy. But this G4 mode at some point he made it was really cool. Ooh. Then just open the open You the just file give two points and crash. Yes.